I just didn't want to have only a regular dry shampoo. I wanted to make sure because the way I use it in studios, it's always to boost a certain kind of volume, just to give that kind of second day feel to it and to extend the life of a hairdo or uh, of a blow dry. This one is also not only just a dry shampoo, it also gives you a little more volume on the root. It's a root booster at the same time. It has a holding quality in it and you can feel the texture on the roots. You can feel that it makes your hair thicker instantly and I really love that. To remove the excess of the powder, just bring the head upside down. If you have a blow dryer, use it for like a few minutes. So it's actually a very easy product to use and it's actually a product that I even find myself using lately, um, even on someone when I just blow dry their hair and give them a little movement or whatever. I just feel like it just gives that much more texture to it and I really love it. So as you can see, it gives a very quick volume boost. And I always recommend after the dry shampoo just to give it back a little bit of life and shine. The dry finishing oil spray, it's non-greasy, you know, as the name dry oil, even though it kind of sounds a little um, contradictory. It's that kind of product that I always have women asking me, how can I make my hair a little less frizzy, a little shinier, just a great texture without feeling like I'm using something that's just gonna make my hair greasy and heavy. A couple of years ago, I used a product that was actually a body product. It was something that you used after the sun or just after a bath, and it was a dry oil. And I always was amazed in the fact that I, every time I was putting it on, it felt a little greasy, but it dried in a matter of a second. And I just love that thing. And I wanted to design something very similar for the hair that wouldn't wear the hair down, that wouldn't make it greasy, and that you would feel like you always enhance the sheen. And the fact that it's in a spray, you're not limited in the amount that you have to put. You know, if you put a couple of uh, pumps, you know, here and there, keeping the ends a little separated just to give it that kind of lightness to it, a little bit on the roots, you will know exactly where to put it because basically most of the time, where, where do you want the shine? Where do you want that kind of feel? It's always on the surface most of the time. So it's a very easy product to use and I'm very proud of it actually. As you could see from the volume that she had before, all the waves are coming back to life.